Hey, what's up? Welcome back. You're watching Vec, and we are officially at the end of the season. It is spring. So put on your best rain boots because you're going to need them. It's going to be wet out there on the roads. This week, we have to own and drive the 1965 Mini Cooper S. But speaking of minis, this week you can also unlock a mini JCW buggy by doing the trial. And for any of you conspiracy enthusiasts, you can also get the alien morph suit. And if you remember when we had to use the Iron Knight this season, you can be truck be a lady by doing an off-road Iron Knight. This thing, honestly, if you can't get it done, I feel for you. I feel like I'm going to struggle with this one myself because this thing just, it's a brick and it drives like a brick. So best of luck to you. And finally, we got two more cars to unlock this season, including the Porsche 906 66, which is a pretty cool and beautiful looking car. And finally, we got a Charger Daytona. With that being said, let's move on. Hit the sub button, hit the like button if you like what you see today and leave any comments or questions below. So unfortunately, while this car is pretty cheap at only 30,000 credits, it is a barn find. So if you don't have it already, you can't buy it from the auto show, but you should be able to find one in the auction house if you are extremely lucky. I haven't checked out the price on the auction house myself. There's also a Lego version of it. I don't think that's going to work for you as usually Forza editions don't work for the seasonal events and I'm pretty pretty sure the Lego version won't work either. Fortunately for myself I have the barn find already so let's hop in and see what we're going to be doing this week. The little car big personality so that's done already. It's a little slow on the acceleration. I do have the D500 that's not stock. Try to customize it with a low MPI. But let's check out what we have to do next. So chapter 2, we got Plucky Off-Road Hero. It was a rally champion back in the day, so win two dirt racing series events in your Mini 65 to get a feel for it. I'm actually excited for this one. I haven't done any rally with the Mini. I'm not sure just how powerful we can get the Mini, but let's go back to the garage and find out. So we got the rally tires put in already. Our PI is still D500. We already have the thicker tires on there. So this car is mostly already set up for rally. Engine wise, we do have the stock 1.3 liter naturally aspirated inline four. We can swap that with a 2.0 inline four with a variable. And we also have the option of a 1.6 inline four turbo rally. And it puts us right at 8,800, which is just fantastic. At this point, we don't have to do anything, but let's check out what we have as far as upgrades with this. So we do have the option of a camshaft, a displacement, single turbo, and the restrictor plate. Upgrading these will make a big, big difference, but I really like that it sits at 8800. I think that's its personality, so I'm going to keep it there and see what this little car has. Wow, if you're using an automatic transmission, this thing just jumps off the rev limiter for so long. Let's check out the handling. I feel like I might actually have to bring that, bring it down to 500. I feel like 800 should be plenty of power, but I think maybe at 500, that's probably gonna be better for wins rather than just the performance. So far, it feels a little stiff where it doesn't really want to turn. If I'm just hitting the uh, accel accelerator, it just wants to go straight. Which is a little weird. Like, I don't want to say that it's on rails. Like, it feels like I'm on it's on rails. But it feels like there's a rail under me where it does not allow me to turn more than I intend to. And just kind of doing its own thing. It kind of feels like just a carnival ride at this point. Acceleration is not bad, but it is really slow and we are really really struggling to keep up I'm hoping that by the time we hit the straightaways we can catch up Oh, thankfully now that we have some more straightaways we are really catching up. This thing is now just taking off This thing is just becoming a little rocket Ooh. 
we're catching up to the podium positions right here hopefully once we hit the road we can catch up i don't think so actually it's it's just so close to call i think we can get third though i think we can get third and no sitting with fourth okay that settles it i'm gonna go back to pid 500 i think i already have it pre-tuned to that thankfully i already have a setup for d500 this should be a lot better i think a lower pi might be the way to go for this week's force Alon challenge oh and what do you know at d500 we have to compete against other minis we have nobody else to compete except ourselves and already this feels so much better i thought that a800 was gonna be the way to go but d500 this thing this thing is so, so much better. It even handles a lot better. Ooh, look, we got, we're getting pushed by another mini. Getting helped out right there. We're also a lot better on the pole position right now. We're sitting at six. We were sitting in like at 11th place for half the race at 800. That thing was, literally it was not working out as much as I thought it would. But right here, I think once we get to the straightaways, we're just going to really, really take off. The turning is actually really, really good at this uh, PI. It's so much more responsive. It's crazy just how a PI, how much it can affect your ride. Right here was where the Mini really took off last time. Let's see how it does. I wonder if our little rocket is still going to be a little rocket. Oh yeah, it's starting to take off a little bit. This just sounds like a swarm of bumblebees on my headphones right now. I'm kind of into it. I'm actually kind of into it. We're literally putting that 1.3 to work right now. Oh yeah, we got up to the front. And our little mini is just hitting the rev limiter on the sixth gear and we're still going. Minimal braking, minimal braking. This thing is really, it's, it feels really, really good. Yep, planning your turns, you don't even have to brake. Wow, this is actually kind of incredible. Yep, taking the turns like a champ right there. That suspension putting some real work. That worked out beautifully. For the next one, let's find ourselves a scramble. There should be one right here. This one should be really good. Let's find out how it does in a scramble. All right, a little slow on the acceleration right there, but I think we are okay. Turning is still really, really good. I think we can take full advantage of that. Especially with having to do minimal braking to turn. Ooh, approaching a couple jumps here. We take off, ah, just a little bit right there. Just a little baby jump right there. Cutting corners right here, trying to get up in front. There should be another little jump approaching. Let's see, let's see how much air we can get here. I'm actually kind of excited to see if we can get air with this little meaty. Ooh, nothing thus far. Oh, here, here we go. Ooh, just a little bit of air right there. Ooh! Lost a little bit of traction there, but that's fine. We still did the uh, turn pretty well. I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to pass these, uh, these people up in front within the next lap because that's really going to dictate whether we're going to win this or not we are approaching but that's not a guarantee of a win oh oh they're all breaking on that turn oh we are approaching podium positions let's see how we do right here letting go of the gas a little bit just through the turn bumped into that guy let's see if we can get a front right here 
got someone right there bumping into us now. Lost a little bit of speed. I think in the next turn, we can use that turn to our advantage and get up in front. Oh, and yeah, there we go. Turn one, first place. Now all we have to do is stay up in front. Still hearing that swarm of bumblebees just right behind me though. Again, I'm kind of into the sound. We do have someone right behind us approaching kind of menacingly right there. They're sticking to us right there on the map if you can see that. Right here, I think we can get up ahead a little bit right here. They'll have to break and we don't. I think, yeah, the corners, all those corners let us get up in front a little bit further. Thankfully, because of our suspension, our handling, this is just working in our favor. At every corner, we just get a little bit more further ahead. And that's it. That is our second win. And there we go. Plucky off-road hero. So moving on to chapter three, we got Asphalt Champion. It was a champion on Asphalt 2. Win two road racing series events in your Mini 65. For this, all I did was change the tires, change the suspension, add a couple performance parts, and change the gearing just a little bit. And now, instead of sitting at 500, we are sitting at 600. Hopefully, that is enough to win these races. I was kind of hoping that we would go against more minis, but it seems our competition has changed their mindset. This thing is still very much taking off. Hopefully it still turns really well on the corners. And what do you know, we are a powerhouse of corners still. While our competition had to slow down, we are just going and going. I think we are approaching our very top limit. I think it was something like a 108. We're sitting just above 100 right now. The two cars in front are getting up ahead, but once we hit those corners, hopefully, hopefully we can catch up. There we go. Every corner we just inch ever forwards. And we got another one right here. Not that much power, but thanks to this corner. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, not even trying. Oh, we got so many corners right here. This is where we're gonna get really, really up ahead, even though we are really, really up ahead already. Okay, approaching the final straightaway. Hopefully nobody catches up, because they do have a lot more speed than we do. Just looking at the map at this point, just looking at the map. And there we go. Thanks to our corner monster, we won. We didn't have to rely on top speed. We just got up ahead because we didn't have to break whatsoever. And we got a little bit of a drizzle. Hopefully that doesn't bother us too much. There's a good little corner coming up. Hopefully that puts us well ahead but we are getting bumped into by this blue car right next to us that kind of that us back just a little bit but there we got more corners up ahead and that's where we're gonna shine and just as i thought our little corner monster is getting up ahead and whoop right there <laughs> cut that corner just behind the flag and now we are up ahead. Hopefully we can stay here. We do have a pretty, pretty straight going up ahead and they can't catch up. Oh, we got an uphill right here. That's going to slow us down just a little bit. We just don't have the torque for that. And it does look like they're catching up. It does look like they're catching up. But thankfully we have a really sharp corner up ahead. We just ran over a bunch of chickens. Hopefully we can get further ahead on this corner right here. Like just a little bit and turn that front wheel drive putting in some real work we are approaching the finish land we got two more corners to do and that should get us the win 
Oh, we actually have a third slide left approaching. They are catching up. They are catching up, but I don't think they have enough road to really beat us. And there we go. They did catch up, but we still won. Asphalt Champion has been completed. Let's go to the final challenge. So chapter four is Runner Bean. Now you've won everything. Celebrate in style by earning a total of 75,000 skill score in your mini 65. This one is really easy. In fact, you could just go on a destruction derby and complete it that way, which I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not sure if Runner Bean is alluding to Mr. Bean, because that's what it makes me think. I do remember this bit where he put a couch on top of a car, and I can't really remember for the life of me if that was a meanie, but it was just hilarious how he was just driving it with the two ropes just turning it from side to side. So we're gonna take our mini on a destruction derby and complete this challenge. And my favorite place to do this is the beach. So we can do jumps, we can do crash landings, we could get our multiplier up and finish it this way. We got some arrow ready, we got a multiplier going, awesome arrow, we got some wreckage going. But we got an awesome skill chain already. Let's continue that. Yep, yeah, let's not lose that awesome skill chain. Oh, we did lose it, but 23,000 points thus far. We are almost halfway there. Kangaroo right there. Awesome wreckage, landscaping. More crash landing. Can we do a little bit of drift? No, not too much. Let's destroy that. We'll just keep this going as the fences reset. I'm actually kind of amazed how much these fences slow down the car. Right there, a British icon has been completed. And we even leveled up to rank 153. They got us a wheel spin to boot. All right, so that is this week's challenges completed. And that's it, all done with a British icon. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves and of each other. And as always, have a good one.